Happy Wednesday. Got a bit of a interesting, interesting package this time. Now, I mean, I feel like you can pretty much tell what this is going to be, right? <laughs> Looking at the size of it. However, I bet you're not going to expect what it actually is. Oh, well, I suppose we can just rip it that way too. This is a Spelljammer book. Now, why would I have a Spelljammer book on a Dragonlance channel? That's a good question. Thank you so much for asking. Um, it's because this is book one of the Cloakmaster Cycle, which is a crossover novel between Kryn and Spelljammer. All right, so, from the publishers of the Dragonlance Saga, Beyond the Moons, little did Telden Moore know that there was life beyond Kryn's moons until a crashed spelljamming ship demolished his farm and changed his life. With a dying alien's magical cloak and cryptic words, Talden quickly discovers that he's a popular fellow. He and his gift companion race to find Astinus of Palanthus and the gnomes of Mount Nevermind to learn why, before the monstrous Neogi find them. Beyond the Moons is set in Dragonlance, Fantasy World, is the first book in the Cloakmaster cycle of Spelljammer space fantasy novels from TSR. Now, I'm planning on reading this entire, I think there's like 12 books or something. It's pretty insane how big this gets. I'm planning on reading these after I'm done with um, uh, the Dark Disciple trilogy. So who knows when that's going to be? Definitely before this year is out. But some of these books are really expensive and hard to come by. And so, you know, it may take me a while to get through them and I'll intersperse these reviews. You know, if I can't find one of the books, then I'll just move on to a different book. You know, I want to do the the uh, Majir Brothers uh, two books. I want to do uh, Huma. I want to do Kaz. I want to do uh, the Doom Brigade. You know, some of those um, draconian books. So I will ultimately keep going through a bunch of Dragonlance specific books. But I wanted to give this a shot. I, have, I know nothing about Spelljammer. Um, I know that, you know, part of what TSR was doing in its second edition era was trying to unify all their different worlds into this multiverse. It, it was a concept that was around from the very beginning of Advanced Dungeons and & Dragons, and so it's not new. Fifth edition is acting like it's something new that they're trying to do now, but it's always been that way. Um, and so... I'm I'm just interested in these you know dick crossover novels. Now you know we are obviously already had the Ravenloft crossover novels, which I've already read and covered. This is the next one, so look for this sometime. I don't know if not late this year, then early next year, 2022. It should be interesting. I don't know how how long are these? Oh, these look pretty short. Look at that, 300 pages. That's nothing. So yeah, this is like a week. Um, of reading and then giving you a, a, a nice little review of it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I bother reading these? Would you be interested in hearing a review of a Dragonlance crossover with Spelljammer book? I think it's interesting. If nothing else, let me know. Let me know your thoughts. Wow, that looks tiny in the, <laughs> in the frame. Let me pick it up. Let me know your thoughts uh, in the comments. Until next week, have a fantastic week. Slan Javar.